Hey everyone, it's Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own custom articulation sets for key switches in third-party instruments. So first let's talk about what articulation sets and key switches actually are, and how they're helpful for music composition and uh, creating more hyper-realistic instruments with lots of different playing techniques. Generally, with third-party um, orchestral and wind and brass and percussion instruments, uh, here's a full orchestra uh, patch from the orchestral suite from UVI, and I'll demonstrate this with a couple different uh, brands. I'll be using uh, UVI for one example, and I'll be using an east-west instrument for another. But what key switches or key switch layers are is it's a way to split up multiple playing styles into like having them all in one instrument you know let's say for example i want uh, sustained tones just long sustained tones but then at the same time i want to be able to switch over to pizzicato for a, a section or maybe i want to switch over to marcato style playing Or maybe I want to add in some different string effects. So the number of key switch layers that are available is going to differ from instrument to instrument. It all depends on uh, the particular uh, manufacturer, the maker of that plugin, and uh, what they've programmed into the sample programming. So for example, in the UVI orchestral suite here, this particular instrument has eight different key switches. Now, they're called key switches because down here you'll see the actual uh, key switch notes in red, and over here you'll see the actual playable notes. So one way to trigger these is simply just to play one of these uh, red keys on your MIDI controller to switch between these different articulations or these different playing styles. So for example, uh, C1 is uh, sustained playing, but then if I press C sharp one, it switches over to pizzicato. And then D one switches over to marcato. And then D sharp one goes to tremolo. Playing in individual key switches as part of your MIDI sequence can kind of be a bit of a pain. Um, it's actually much easier to create a custom articulation set. It takes a little bit more time, but it makes composition much, much easier and once you create a custom articulation set for a particular instrument, you no longer have to, uh, you don't have to create another one. It saves it um, throughout all of your Logic projects. So I'll come back to this later in the video and show you how to create your own custom articulation sets. But first, I want to break down what articulation sets actually are and how they work with key switches and third-party instruments. And to start, I'm actually going to use a stock instrument. I'm going to use the Studio Strings in Logic. This works with both the stock Studio Strings and Studio Horns. And uh, by default, if you load this up, I, I chose the violin patch, um, play in a little something. Everything is going to play with the default articulation, which is sustain. But let's say I want some of these notes to be different articulations. Well, in Logic, with these two instruments, if you select a track, go over to your track inspector here, go down to Articulation Set, click here, go down to Logic, you'll see uh, a bunch of different presets for uh, default articulation sets for studio strings and studio horns. Again, these are built right into Logic. You don't have to program anything. Um, and once you load one of them up, so I just loaded up the Studio uh, Studio Violins articulation set because I've chosen the Studio Violins patch. Now what I can do is in the Piano Roll Editor, you'll see this extra little articulation menu. So I can select notes and then choose an articulation for the selected notes. So maybe for these first notes, I want these to be sustained. But then maybe these notes, I'll hold Shift, these notes, and these notes... Maybe I want these to be staccato style playing. And then maybe I want this to be a trill. So I'll select that note, choose a trill. And then maybe I want uh, 
these to be pizzicato. So I'll choose pizzicato for those. And now, without entering any key switch notes or anything like that, I've assigned articulations to each of these notes. And if you want to change the articulation on a note, it's as simple as selecting it and then changing the articulation over here. So the articulation sets are sort of built into the MIDI and logic, and it's real easy to do with, you know, your stock instruments like studio strings and studio horns. But how do you do this with third party instruments? So what you have to do is create your own custom articulation set for that instrument. So just as an example here, I'll, I'll show you what I did with the or orchestra strings here uh, in the orchestral suite. I created eight different articulations, sustain, pizzicato, marcato. Basically, I just created a different articulation for each of the key switch layers that are available here. So now I can select a note, choose the type of articulation I want for it. Maybe these upper notes here, maybe I want these to be um, Marcato style, and then maybe I want these, you know, maybe I'll make these, uh, Pizzicato, then I'll make these Marcato, and maybe I'll make this sustained, maybe I'll make this one one of the chords, and I'll make this string effect. <laughs> So this is a great way to program multiple articulations, multiple playing styles into a single track. Because the way I used to do, the, to do this before I understood how to set this up was I would create different tracks for different articulations and it would really eat up a lot of extra processing power and uh, just waste a lot of space in my DAW. So let me show you how to create custom articulation sets for your own um, third party instruments. So what I have here is an instrument called Hollywood Pop Brass from uh, East to West. And you'll notice it's got all of these playable notes here. And then it's uh, the key switches are shown here in light blue. So these range from like C1 all the way up to B1. So there's a lot of them here. And um, I'm assuming the very first one is probably just a sustained playing style. Yep, C sharp, sort of like an accented, almost like forte piano style, D, so they're all sustained, they just have different front end articulations on them, uh, D sharp, it's like a piano style, like medium, Okay, so F is like a like a marcato, like a long staccato. F sharp. A real short staccato. A little less accented staccato. That's repeated notes. It's like a swell, like a like a crescendo. A slow crescendo and another different slow crescendo so there's some of these effects in here that are kind of similar but they're a little bit different from sample to sample again all of this is going to add realism uh, to the instrument overall so let's create a custom articulation set for this instrument so what you're going to do again select your track here go to articulation set you'll see the uvi orchestra one i created off screen for this uh, instrument here. Let's create a new one. So you click new, it pulls up a separate little window here, and there's three tabs, switches, articulations, and output. You might think that you won't need to go to the switches tab, but uh, you actually don't. We're gonna start with the articulations tab, then move over to the output tab, and that's it. 
So what I'm going to do is create um, an articulation for each of the key switches in the instrument. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 of these. So I'll create 11 of these. And then the first one, you just double click and give it a name. I'm going to call this sustain one. And then I think the second, the first three were all sustained. They just had different front end attacks. I mean, I could probably um, give them very specific descriptions, but I'm just going to call them sustain one, two, and three. And then when I got up to D sharp, Okay, so D sharp was actually like a, a crescendo, and then E is like a decrescendo, or yeah, like a diminuendo, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I'll call this uh, crescendo, and then the fifth one, I'll call this decrescendo, like marcato, and then we said F sharp was staccato. So I'll call this marcato, I'll call this staccato. Okay, then the last four, one, two, three, four, five. Why am I missing one? Did we miss one? Sustain, 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 crescendo, decrescendo, marcato, staccato. Why am I short one? Oh, there's 12, not 11. Okay, duh. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so uh, G, let's see what this one was. So, oh, that's, you know, that's another staccato. So F sharp was staccato, but G is also a staccato. So I'm going to call this uh, staccato one and two. That's uh, repeated notes. So I'll say repeated. The last three. That's like a swell. It's another swell. So I'll call this swell short, swell medium, and swell long. Okay, so I've created uh, articulations for each of these. Now I can go to my output tab, and you'll see that all of these articulations move over. You have to choose what type of articulation these are. Um, they're notes. They're triggered by key switch notes. So I'm going to choose note on for all of these. And I'm not sure if there's a way to do it for all of them all at once or not. They're, uh, not that I know of. I think you have to do them individually. So just choose no on for each of these. Again, the, the upside to this is once you do this once, you never have to do it again, at least for this instrument, because each instrument's going to be different. But if it's an instrument you use all the time, it's certainly worth um, the little bit of time here to, uh, to make this work. Okay, so now for the selector column, I'm going to select the corresponding key switch note for each one of these techniques. So the first one is C0, then we have C sharp 0, D0, D sharp 0, and you can see it automatically sort of selects these in chromatic order, which is why I loaded them up or typed them in chromatically. Um, one thing to keep in mind too is you don't have to um, create key switches for all of them, like if you're only going to use like two or three of these, you could just create three articulations and that's it. Um, but I like to do all of them because you never know. Maybe in the future you might want to use all of these. So now I've created my own custom uh, setting for this. What I'm going to do is click here and click Save As and give this a name. So I'm going to call this EW Hollywood Pop Brass. And now anytime I load up that instrument, I can select its corresponding articulation set here. So what I've got right now is just a little sequence here with some MIDI data in it. And right now this is going to play with all sustain. It's not going to play with, uh, with any of the articulations because I haven't identified what articulations I want. So what's cool about this is once you create a custom articulation set, all of those articulations will show up down here in the MIDI editor. So let's say these long notes, I want these to all be sustained. So I'll just select the notes that I want to be sustained and select the sustain articulation. Maybe some of these I want them to be the second staccato. And then maybe some of these I want to be the, sh the shorter first staccato. So let's try that out.
So I gotta make some of these staccato as well. Let's make this staccato one. Make these staccato two. So off screen, I extended this horn part out and I selected a whole bunch of different articulations and you'll hear these in the performance. It really helps to make things uh, more realistic by mixing up uh, different articulations, just like real musicians would. So that's articulation sets and key switches in Logic Pro 10. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. Thanks for the support and thanks for watching.